212 days. That's right, 212 days since Pokemon released Lost Origin. And as you guys know, I have been struggling to complete this set for a very long time now, and I've decided today's the day we're gonna finish it. And I don't care if that means we have to trade everything in the binder again to get it, or buy the cards outright, or try to pull them, but we are going to get the last two cards I need. And I thought before we get out there and start trying to rip packs, find cards, or buy cards, I think we should kind of take a recap on how this journey started. I remember the first week Lost Origins released, I went out to my local card store and bought some packs, and the first card I pulled was this Hollow Hisuian Zora card right here. After that, the binder quickly grew with nice good hits, with my first big full art being this Cook full art here from the Trainer Gallery, and then I got my first Secret Rare card, which was the Lady Rainbow Rare Trainer card. After that, the binder quickly grew. We got full arts, we got our V-Stars, we got many, many cards, and of course that culminating with one of the biggest things I've ever done in terms of a trade, to get the Giratina Alternate Art Rare. That card has since become my most valuable card in my entire Pokemon collection, and it is obviously bored in this binder by the Aerodactyl alternate art, the Pikachu VMAX out of the trainer gallery, and many, many more valuable cards in this set. This has taken me a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and cash to finish this set, but nonetheless, today I am down to my final two cards. Those being the Rainbow Rare Hisuian Gudra V-Star and the Rainbow Rare Magnezone V-Star. Now, for some reason, these cards are not the most expensive, they're not the most rare, but I cannot find them. I have been struggling to find these cards let me tell you. Every card store I've been to, no. Every shop I've checked online, no. And I'm finally decided today, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get these last two cards. But today I decided, let's go over to Studio 151, which has a massive cabinet of Pokemon singles, and check if they have the Rainbow Rares. But without further ado, let's go over there and see if they got them. All right, and just like that, we are back from Studio 151. Unfortunately, they did not have the two singles we needed. But, on the other hand, I said I would do anything it takes. And you guys are probably gonna think I'm pretty stupid for doing this, but I did buy some packs of Lost Origins. Specifically, they had four sleeve packs left, and then I noticed this Infernape V-Box, which does come with two Lost Origin packs. So I figured, I'm like, well, after today, I'm probably never gonna have to open these packs up again, which is a little bit, you know, it's cool, but at the same time, it's a little bit sad, so I thought today, let's just get into these packs, and let's do our last rip of Lost Origins and hope to get these two Rainbow Rares we need. So, I figure we can start off with these sleeve packs here. So, there is one Gardevoir and three Giratinas, none of which of these Pokemon we actually need, and I think, actually, now that I think about it, there's no um, pack art Pokemon that we have left, so I figure we'll start with Gardevoir here, and yeah, I don't know how many packs of Lost Origin I've opened now. I know on the channel, it's it's been a good amount, but I can't even imagine the ones I've opened before I even started the channel. Like I know, in terms of like booster boxes, oh gosh, guys, I, I don't I don't even want to think about all of the packs I've had to open so far to to get there. Like we're talking multiple booster boxes, like like. 
I don't want to say it's close to a case, but like, I don't know if it's far off either. Like, in terms of all the other product I've opened, like, definitely a substantial amount of packs. And towards the end, I was mostly just kind of buying cards. Litwick and behind the Litwick, ooh, a Kingdra Hollow. But yeah, I was mostly kind of like buying or trading for cards towards the end, because it just wasn't really, I would say, profitable to really, you know, open up these packs anymore, because like, towards the end, they were getting quite expensive. Like, we're talking, I think they're up to like six fifty now in Canada, a lot of stores are selling them for, which isn't awful, but like the set's getting old now and they haven't really done a big reprint of it, which is probably bound to happen, but I mean, not as of the time of filming this video. So, packs got expensive and after that, you know, it was just not really worth it to go get them anymore, Electros, and the Rainbow Rares are only going to be in the last two slots of this pack, so... Though there is an awesome trainer gallery in this set, and it definitely is probably my favorite set out of Sword and Shield. I think, like, Evolving Skies Brilliant Stars are hard to compete with, but for me personally, just with, like, the Pokemon that are in this set, it, it's just so beautiful. And it was definitely my the reason why this was, like, my first set I really wanted to full complete. And I think, you know, I think that's fair. I think in terms of sets, you gotta do what you guys want, you know? Don't let anyone influence you with terms of prices. Like, if there's a Pokemon in a set that you really like and you think the set's awesome, go for it, I would say. Just go out and complete it. It's awesome. The journey, ooh, Hasuian Arcanine. Not the right Hasuian Pokemon we're looking for today, but, I mean, one sleeved pack left, so maybe... Maybe our little Gardevoir pack art here knows that we're looking for some Hisui and Gudra luck, like, or Magnazone, or one of the two. I mean, the binder, the binder needs to be complete at this point, guys. I, you know what I mean? The binder needs to be completed. It's just been too long. It, it's, those two spots on there have, uh, have made me sad to look at, I would say, is the least. I, I've just been like, man, it's only two cards left. We gotta get it done. And, oh, I'm skipping cards here. Electiv, not Electivire, oh my gosh. Electric, and behind the Electric, oh, a Galarian Preserker V, which we do already have the alternate art for, and then the full art. So, you know, we don't need any Preserker today. But our last thing we need to open, and this is our last opening of Lost Origins, is gonna be from this Infernate V-Box, which I've never opened before, so I guess we can quickly just kinda, you know, rip into this box, and I guess we can do a quick check out of the promos, even though that's not really the, uh, the premise of the video, but you know what I mean? It's, it's always nice to check the promos out in here. So yeah, as you can see, the Infern Ape right there, and then an Empoleon from Brilliant Stars, which technically isn't a promo, but they changed the holographic pattern on it. Our famous big cards, which are, you know, they're big cards, no one's really gonna be, you know, going wild over them. And then our two Lost Origin, and then I believe it's an Astral and a Fusion Strike, so we'll open those ones quickly up first, since they're really not, you know, I'd be surprised if we got anything we need to have Lost Origin from packs that aren't Lost Origin, but I guess we never know. Um, surprisingly enough, I did open one of these boxes up recently. I believe it was the Verizion box, just on my own, and I was surprised. I pulled two Rainbow Rares out of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that was crazy for one of these collection boxes with four packs. Like, you kind of... I'm gonna be honest, you kind of can expect like one hit out of it, but like that one hit could just be a V. Like, and I've seen some of these boxes go where you just get holographic cards out of them too. So definitely a higher risk than reward in a lot of these, uh, these four pack kind of collection boxes. I mean, definitely still some good cards you can get out of them, but I would say definitely again, higher risk than reward in a lot of these cases for the collection boxes. Super nice promos in them. It's cool to get the Infernape V. I mean, I really like Infernape, so I don't think I can really complain about that. And behind the Bronzong, ooh, a Keldeo Holographic. But that's okay, you know what I mean? We probably saved the good luck for some Lost Origin goodies. And I mean, I'm hoping for the rainbows, guys. I'm hoping for the rainbow rares here. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Oh, it, it, it would be nice. It would be nice. I'm telling you guys. It would be nice if we could just pull them in. I mean, I know what I'm going to have to do, I think, for sure. But I don't know if I really want to do it. Oh, and there is another Pidgeot V. I mean, we do have a lot of those. So if anyone catches me at a card store and wants a Pidgeot V, let me know. I will, uh, I'd be glad to trade it away <laughs> at this point. But our last pack of Lost Origins on the channel, probably forever maybe i don't know you know what i mean like this this could be our very last pack guys this right here could be our very last pack of lost origins we ever opened probably not though i mean even if we full complete this set and not, actually not even if we're doing it today like it's 212 days 
is too long for a set to not be fully completed. Like, we're doing it today, regardless. And behind the Phalanx, ooh! Ending it off with a Drapion V-Star. Definitely not the V-Star we were looking for, but you know what, nonetheless, a pretty good pull. And now you guys are probably thinking, well, Nate, you've you opened your packs and you didn't get them. And, uh, and I, I'd have to agree with you. I'd have to say, well, you're right. We didn't get them. But I said we're not giving up today until we fully complete this set. So you know what that means, guys? I'm going to have to go online on TCG Player and buy these cards. That's just it. That's just it. We're going to have to do it. I know that this is not the climactic ending to a, you know some other people's collection videos where they go out of the way and find the last card at the last second. But I, I guess we just got to go, you know, bite the bullet and... Uh, and buy these cards straight up. So I guess I'll go order them on TCG Player now and I'll come back when they come in. So see you guys in maybe a couple weeks. Two weeks later. And just like that guys, two weeks has flown by and the package has arrived containing the final two Lost Origin cards. We need to fully complete our first, first full complete Pokemon set on the channel. Like this is, this is unprecedented Nate Collects history here that you guys are witnessing. We're talking about the first fully complete complete set of Pokemon cards I've done and obviously next is hopefully gonna be Scarlet Violet but this one has some sentimental value for sure and I think without further ado we gotta open this package up and check out the final two cards of Lost Origin that we need and I gotta be careful make sure I don't cut the cards in half because that would uh, that would not be good for sure but as you can see here Oh, they even packaged them for some suspense. Black on both sides, you can see a little bit of the rainbow goodie poking through. And obviously, TCG Player always does a pretty good job of making sure the cards are quite packed. Or the individual sellers, who you buy from on there. I know you know that's not really how it works, but I feel like we should just we should just check it out, right, guys? We should just look. We should just look and see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It looks even better in person. I mean, Gudra V-Star Rainbow Rare, one of the final Rainbow Rares we needed for the set, one of the final cards we needed, and then to join it as its little friend who joined it on its journey was the Magnezone V-Star Rainbow Rare. Ooh, honestly, I, I don't know which one I like better out of the two. I think it's the Gudra. I think the Rainbow just looks a little bit better, but like, dude, we're done. We completed it. We completed our first Pokemon set. This is crazy, guys. Okay, I think I think now you guys, you know, you see the cards. I think you want to see the first fully completed binder, right? Right? Okay. Well, I think we should change the angles around a little bit here, and I'll show you the full binder. All right, guys, and here we go. The full Lost Origins binder. I'm trying to make sure I get the glare right on here. I will try to show kind of a top-down view of all the cards looking through the ring light. As you can see, a lot of beautiful cards in here. Now I do have to offer a fair warning. This is definitely not a master set. I um, I definitely don't have all the reverse hollows as you can see with the uh, the poly world there and a couple other ones with the shallows there too. But I mean, every card is in here for sure. And I'm sorry about the little ring light in the middle there, but as you can see, full pages of cards here. I mean, since the last time we took a look at this binder, a lot of stuff actually hasn't changed on these pages, I'm pretty sure. Actually, these pages have been well complete for a while, but as we get closer to the back of the binder, and I'll quickly flip through here, and as you can see in some of the highlights, like the Radiant Steelix there, obviously, uh, this uh, this wasn't the first set with Radiance, that was actual Radiance, but, you know, honestly, a lot of cool Radiance in this set. I think we actually have already passed all of them, as I mentioned that, but now on to our trainer cards and supporter cards here, and then, Probably the best page in the entire binder. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, all of these full arts. Check that out. All the alternate arts, like our Aerodactyl, the Rotom alternate art, Berserker, and then finishing it off, obviously, with our Giratina alternate art. The most expensive card in the set by a mile. But yeah, guys, I mean, I mean, this page has actually been done for a little bit now, but it is super nice to know that the rest of it, and this page here, as you can see with our Two newest additions, the Magnezone V-Star and then the Gudra V-Star, along with all the Full Art Trainers, the other Rainbow Rares in the set. All of our gold cards here, including probably my favorite, the Giratina, as you can see right there, oh, joined with the Zoroark. The Charizard Trainer Gallery card there, another beautiful one, probably one of the most expensive kind of like yellow border Trainer Gallery cards, the Pikachu. And then getting onto our page with the nice juicy ones here as the other two Pikachus and the Pikachu 
Pikachu V Max, obviously being one of the most expensive cards as well in the set. I want to say it's top five. It might not be now because I know Rainbow Rares have gone up a little bit. So please let me know in the comments if you know and I don't. Obviously, our beautiful Cook card there, Lucinder, an awesome card, and then our Kabu, and then finishing it off on our final page with, as you can see there first, the little energy. Just gotta have all of them to make sure it's a complete set, and then as you can see over here with our Nessa trainer card, Opal trainer card, our Golden Chonky Chu V Max, and our final card in the set, the Mew V Max Gold. Oh, <laughs> but anyways guys, that's it. Lost Origins is fully complete. My first 100% complete set on the channel. Oh, I'm sure there is many more to come, but I just want to say I thank you guys for coming along with the journey for me, opening up a bunch of sealed product, like the booster boxes started off, a bunch of stuff, hunting for singles, and especially today, finishing it off. But this has been another episode of Nate Collects. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.